Today, I'm going to discuss the role of vitamin D in pregnancy using ob uh, outcomes from observational studies. My outline is as follows. First, I want to go over the role of observational studies versus randomized controlled trials. Next, the 25 OHD status of pregnant women in Germany. Then turn to the, um, the outcomes, of pregnancy and birth outcomes that are linked to uh, low 25 OHD. This would be, includes preterm delivery, gestational diabetes, preeclampsia, cesarean section delivery, anthropometric uh, measures, infections, asthma and wheezing, neurological effects, including autism, ADHD, then turn to um, diet and, and 25 OHD and, and obesity, and finally go to uh, recommendations. So observational studies for vitamin D investigate relationships between 25 OHD and health outcomes. For each 25 OHD concentration range, case rates are compared to control rates. 25 OHD is affected by solar UVB exposure, dietary sources including meat, supplement use, uh, and cofactors such as magnesium, and genetics. Observational studies provide the strongest evidence for beneficial effects of vitamin D to date. Uh, randomized controlled trials give vitamin D uh, supplements to one arm and placebo to the other arm. Unfortunately, most, vi most vitamin D uh, RCTs do not base design or analysis on 25 OHD concentrations. RCTs were designed to investigate the efficacy and look for any harm by pharmaceutical drugs. The two basic assumptions are, first, there is no other source of the drug, and secondly, there is a linear dose-response relationship. Well, unfortunately, that's the reason that many uh, vitamin D trials have failed. They enroll people that have adequate 25 OHD and do not give them very much vitamin D. So we have proposed a hybrid observational approach to vitamin D RCT design based primarily on serum 25 OHD concentration, requiring an understanding of the serum 25 OHD concentration health outcome relationships, measuring baseline 25 OHD values, recruiting non-replete subjects, measuring serum 25 OHD during the trial for adjustment of supplemental doses, for achieving achievement of pretrial selection of target 25 OHD values where possible, and analyzing health outcomes in relation to those data rather than solely to 25 to vitamin D doses.